Hi everyone and welcome to topic number six, which is about team identity. So before we start, let's define this two. First of all, what is a team and then what is identity? So to describe a team and to make it simple, so it's a group of people competing on one side and they have a common goal that they want to achieve. Now, what is identity? So, identity would be something what we represent, something what we stand for, our core values, our voice, the way that others see us. So, that's all part of identity. Let's talk about creating team identity in sports. If the team identity in sports is positive. The players will not only be motivated to play well, they will also be accomplished. There is a saying and it goes like this, image is bigger than the on-field success. I would have to agree with that. I think that if you, if you look at it in the long term, yes, success and results, it's all great, it's all important and, and we all long for it, regardless if it's in sport or in another business or a different industry. But the image that we leave is what impacts our human relations with each other and it also affects um, the customer loyalty. So, if we talk about sports, you know, the image is very important for identification with fans. We are going to have long-term fans who will stand by us if we, again, share, you know, core values. If the image we represent is aligned with what they are looking for, if we, if we stand for what we say. So, as a team, it's important that we have following fundamentals, a name, a logo which, by which we are recognizable, colors and voice. So these four, please remember, are very important in team identity. What we need to do in sports, we need to put a lot of emphasis on, on branding. Branding is very important in creating the image of, of the team identity. Branding can be done through, through many ways, through, through social media, uh, it can be done through, through websites, through, through a lot of the technology nowadays, um, and we can reach broad audiences, and again, it's very important to keep up what we stand for and to have an image which is aligned, again, with what we stand for. So, to sum it all up, in terms of team identity. If you remember, in one of the previous topics, I was talking about marketing planning and marketing plans, and I was speaking about marketing mix, which is based on the four Ps. So when it comes to team identity, it's based on four Cs, which represent clarity, commitment, concerns, and contribution. When we speak about creating the team identity, what is absolutely necessary as uh, resources is the energy, the motivation and the intention to do so. So, intention how we want to do it and what do we want to reach. Thank you for being with me today.